Is the city pulling the plug on plans to turn this vacant school into a temporary shelter for migrants? Neighbors sounded the alarm in a CBS2 report yesterday, but today the mayor's office says there are no plans to house asylum seekers here. CBS2's Lauren Victory is in Woodlawn trying to get to the bottom of all of this for us tonight. Lauren? Well, Joe, plain and simple, the mayor's office refused to answer a lot of our questions, including if a migrant center isn't going here, then what are all these construction vans for? Hour after hour this afternoon, we watched crews from various contracting companies enter and exit the old Wadsworth Elementary School on 64th and University. Somebody is definitely getting ready for something, but what it is, we don't know. We don't know either because the mayor's office is not being transparent about what's going on at this Chicago Public School owned building. CBS 2 obtained these pictures of some of the rehab inside. Shiny new pipes, buffed floors, and bathrooms under construction. Your tax dollars are clearly paying for something here, but for what and for how much? CPS is telling us it's routine maintenance work on the vacant building. But this man says someone on the project here told him something much different last week. The guy goes, come on, let's go talk off the property, because if they hear me, they're going to fire me. So uh, he goes, no, this is going to be for the immigrants. A shelter for migrants bust in from Texas. That's also what residents of the 20th Ward were told in this email from Alderman Jeanette Taylor. She shared concerns with us yesterday about limited Spanish-speaking resources near the old Wadsworth Elementary. This is not me saying don't help these families. Think about how you're helping them and dropping them off in the middle of a majority black war makes no sense whatsoever. You're creating chaos in a community that is already struggling. 24 hours after that interview, a spokesperson for the mayor's office said there are no plans to use the vacant school as a shelter for asylum seekers. We tried to go straight to the source and ask the workers what they're up to instead, but couldn't get in touch with anyone. Neighbors are getting suspicious and frustrated. We just want to know what is going on in our community so we can know what we should be doing and how we can help. That's just basically it. Another head scratcher, CBS2 couldn't find any records of building permits for the construction here. Again, CPS is telling us it's routine maintenance work. Reporting live in Woodlawn, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Lauren, thank you.